This video is for the catch stitch hem. So for this one, you'll be using the same pattern that we did for the blind hem with the grain line going down that short side. And you'll need to cut three sides pinking with one long side with your straight shears. You'll also need hem tape. So this is the correct type of hem tape. We'll also be using this for the hem of our pants. It looks like a shiny ribbon. It is not fusible. So if you've gotten something fusible that looks like a webbing, or if the package says anything about fusible or heat set, that is incorrect. This one should just feel like a ribbon, nice and shiny on both sides. It is sold um, near the zippers in those stand-up shelves and it specifically says hem tape. If it says anything else, bias tape, anything like that, it is incorrect. Okay, I'm just going to cut a piece that is the same length as that long straight side that we cut with our straight shears. And I'm gonna cut the ends of this uh, with my pinking shears just so it doesn't ravel in my notebook. Okay, we will now need to overlap this hem tape on our raw edge a quarter inch. So only a quarter inch of the hem tape should be overlapping your fabric. The other quarter inch will be hanging off the edge. So just like that, on the backhand side you can see where that quarter inch is still hanging off the edge. Now that inside edge that's touching the fabric, I'm going to edge stitch. So there is my edge stitch. Now I'm ready to go to my ironing board and fold up my hem depth. With my sample facing down, I'm gonna put that ribbon down at the bottom and then we're going to fold up an inch and a half from the top edge of the ribbon. So I'm gonna measure out an inch and a half. Top edge of the ribbon to the fold and press that. So this is what my finished product is looking like. Now we're ready to hand stitch the catch stitch along the edge of this ribbon. For this part of the sample you'll need a hand needle and I've got the ends staggered. So I'm only stitching with one layer of thread at a time. Now, if you're right-handed, you're gonna start over on the left-hand side and work your way to the right. If you're left-handed, you'll do the opposite. Start on the left-hand side, work your way to the left. Okay, just through the ribbon layer, so I've got these separated, 
At the very end, I'm going to take a stitch right in the middle of the ribbon, just a small stitch, and stitch in place to start my thread. So stitch right over that same spot four or five times. So this replaces the knot in your thread. Once you have that secured, you're ready to start stitching. So I'm gonna go over a quarter inch, over and up to the top of my ribbon and take a small stitch through the main fabric of my garment. So it's a very small stitch right up here. So I'm not going through the ribbon, I'm only going through the garment. My needle, you'll see, is still pointing right to left. Okay, so that should make that little diagonal. Now I'm going to go down another quarter and, or over another quarter and down to the center of my ribbon. Take a small stitch only out of my ribbon. So I'm only going through that ribbon layer. And it should make this little peak. So diagonal up and diagonal down. We'll keep doing that. So over and up to my fabric. Over and down to my ribbon. Okay, we will continue to do that all, all along the length of our hem. So each of these peaks should only be a half inch wide at the bottom. That's because we did a quarter to get to the top and another quarter to get to the bottom. So total that would make one peak half an inch wide. If yours are larger than that, then you are taking your stitches too far apart. When you get to the other end, you will stitch in place at the middle of the ribbon, just like we did to, to start. On the backhand side, it should look like these peaks and valleys with little X's at the top and bottom where your thread is crossing over itself. And on the front, I should only see those little stitches you did at the top of the ribbon. So you can see these little dots that are half an inch apart. So those are very small stitches. If they're bigger than what you see here, then you are taking stitches too big. Okay, so that is the catch stitch hem.